We had to use hospice care because my husband Mike was diagnosed with melanoma in 2008 and he fought it for three years and towards the end he declined very quickly. Um, he was able to come home and be at home with his family a few days before he passed away. As a family and, and on our own terms, you know, we were able to do what was comfortable for us. Dr. Bush was the first, um, you know, hospice provider that we met with. It was the, the first time we had ever met him and he was very open and honest and direct with us. Um, he explained what a DNR was, something that we had never talked about before. We had only ever planned for life, not death. Um, he was just very, very honest with us, which I think both of us really appreciated, even though at the time it seemed brutal or harsh, um, it, it, was, it was what needed to be said to us. We met our nurse, Patty, who was more than willing to help us with anything. Um, and I truly believe that she was there for us no matter what we needed any time, day or night. Um, she took the time to explain, you know, what was going to happen to Mike, some things that I might see and not to be scared, but that I could call her um, any time that I needed. The, the care that hospice provided to me and my family, I think, was an invaluable service. They cared about our family. Um, they cared to get to know our family. I realized that I couldn't do it alone and I needed help and life couldn't just go on as it normally had and so I had contacted Denise Watterson, um, one of the bereavement coordinators at hospice and she really you know sat down with me and, and really helped me figure out how I was going to work through processing Mike's death um, and, and one of the most helpful things she explained to me was that it you know it's, it's a journey. So she made it very clear that it was a process and I had to work really hard at it and I had to embrace the bad days if I wanted to get through them and, and have good days. I think if I could tell the community one thing about hospice um, is that it's not just for old people. I think in a lot of cases, you know, as, as the way it's supposed to be, when, when you're older, sure, you go through hospice care as your end of life nears. Um, but there are cases like mine and, and many more where this is not expected and it is a traumatic event. Um, you know, and, and they, they are here to help and they have, they have services, you know, before death, during death, and after death. Um, and and it, there's, no, there's no time limit on it, there's no cap. Um, they're here to help for however long you need. The care and compassion just oozes from, from each and every one of them. You can tell that they, they mean what they're saying and they, they want to help people. They are, they're here for the community to help people during really tough times.